you know, we know we know it can ramp well. We know mm-hmm. it can uh, do straight ZX plunging, which we saw in the video, which is extremely impressive. But you know, I think the fact that it can do you know really deep slotting up to two times D is also impressive too. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that two times D slot. Definitely. So so here we've already done a, a half D, one D, one and a half D, and here's the two D slot. And, you know, and, and as most of us know, that's that's something that really is quite special to be able to do that and not just do it once, but right. do it over and over. Um, so what are some things, Danny, that you think of when you think about how to tackle that? What does the end mill have to be able to do? It has to be able to eject the chip, obviously. I mean, it, it, that's the biggest problem we have when you start running any type of tool in a very deep slot is because it's a slot. you got a wall on both sides. You're engaged 180 degrees in that slot. Uh, and you only have 180 degrees on the opposite side to be able to eject it. So we have to figure out a way to eject the chips out. 